Hi loves, welcome back. Today we're gonna be playing with a bunch of brand new affordable and drugstore makeup. And I have quite a few products here from ColourPop, Physicians Formula, Lottie London, Flower Beauty. Honestly, it's just a little bit of everything. So make sure you grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it and have some girl time. I'm finally gonna try out the CoverGirl Clean Color Palette. This one is in Mellow Mauve. I absolutely love these tones. I honestly just wanna use this palette today too. I wanna do something really simple. But I've heard really good things about these eyeshadows. I've only swatched them and they do feel really soft. I'm gonna start with this really pretty lilac shade. I'm just gonna put that on the outer lid. Oh, that's pretty. Next, I'm gonna go into this really pretty mauve shade. Oh wow, this is actually really pretty. These seem to be really pigmented, but at the same time, not too overwhelming. They still blend nicely, and I think they have a overall buildable, but still pigmented formula. So with a flat brush, I'm gonna take this deep plum cranberry, and then I'm also gonna mix in a little bit of that lighter shade as well. Let's go in with a dry brush to see the pigment. Still pretty pigmented though. So now on the other side, I dipped my brush in and I also sprayed it with a little bit of setting spray just to see if the finish changes or if the color pops a little bit more. Okay, so this eyeshadow is really pretty, but the glitter that you guys see is actually, I just realized the brush that I used to blend had a little bit of leftover glitter on it. So that is what that glitter is, but this is what the eyeshadow looks like. It has a really pretty sheen. Honestly, don't feel like spraying your brush made a huge difference with the eyeshadow, but I am gonna add a little bit more of this lighter color to lighten this up a little bit. I think these have nice pigmentation either with a brush or with your finger. And I like the color of both of these shimmers mixed together. This eyeshadow palette is so pretty. The fact that I only used these four shades to create this look, it was so easy. Really nice formula and pigmentation. And we have a new mascara from CoverGirl. This is the Clean Topia in Extreme Black. That is the mascara wand. It looks really good. Not too big, not too small. Oh, I like this wand. The formula is nice. It's not too wet. It has a bit more of a drier formula. Definitely separates the lashes. Oh, let me see the claims on this. So it gives extreme lush volume up to 24 hour wear. So it looks like this is a voluminous type of mascara, but I'm actually getting some separation with it as well. This is actually really nice. I like it. The wand feels nice and gentle too on the eyes. I actually prefer it. I think this is one of my favorite CoverGirl wands. I'm gonna apply some lashes. I have these Kiss and Marilyn Monroe lashes in the style The It Girl. They look so wispy and pretty. Definitely a bit more dramatic. I'm not gonna do any eyeliner, so we're gonna pop these on. I just put on the lashes. I did trim them, but I really like them. They're a little bit more voluminous. I think they're pretty with this look. So far, I really like everything. The eyeshadow palette, mascara, and lashes. 10 out of 10. Let's move into the skin. I actually just refreshed my skin with the LA Girl Setting Spray. This is an oldie but a goodie. I just picked this up again recently when I went to CVS. And this is so refreshing. I forgot how nice this is. And it has a really light coconut scent that's not too strong. But I'm going to use it to set my makeup as well. But... Look at the mister too, it's good. So for primer, I have this Lottie London Bubble Tea Primer. It's a hydrating primer with bursting gel bubbles. Looks so intriguing. Oh wow, this is what it looks like. So interesting. Oh, it smells like watermelon. Kind of goes on like a serum. It actually really does smell like watermelon. I'm gonna let this sit into my skin for a little bit just to see how long it takes to absorb or if the texture changes, but it feels like a skincare product. Sort of like a serum, but it's very hydrating. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. This is definitely better than I expected. And it absorbed really quickly as well without feeling tacky or greasy. It just feels hydrating and smooth. I don't have a new foundation, so I'm actually just gonna use concealer as my foundation today. And I have this Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Concealer. Picked this up at Ulta, but you can also get it at CVS. I'm actually such a big fan of the other Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. It's amazing, beautiful coverage. So apparently this one has a buildable coverage that's hydrating, brightening, and smoothing. So I got the color sand and light medium. I'm gonna mix both of them. So I'm gonna do sand on my under eyes 
And then I'm gonna mix in a bit of a light medium just to lighten that up a little bit. Ooh, super creamy. Definitely has nice coverage too. Wow, that is so hydrating. Is that one of the claims on it, hydrating? Yes, because I agree. The way that just melted into the skin, that is so pretty. I actually like the combo too of sand and light medium. Definitely has a bit of a more dewy hydrating finish. Okay, wow, that looks good. Let's go in and conceal other areas of the face where I need it. I think for the rest of the face, I'm just gonna use the color sand. Wow, this is so pretty. I love how it's just melting into my skin. This formula, I think I actually like more than the Light Illusion Concealer. And I love the way it's blending into my skin. It looks very natural, but it still definitely has some coverage. It's not totally light coverage, so I appreciate that. Let's do a little cream bronzer. This one is the Bronze Stick from ColourPop. I normally don't apply this directly to the skin, but today we're gonna make an exception. This product also feels super creamy. Oh, that's nice. This color is really natural. I could probably maybe go up a shade, but I love how blendable this is. Okay, that actually looks amazing. I love this color because it's a little bit more warm, but it's not too orange, it's not too cool. It's kind of just a really good in-between shade, and this formula blends like butter. It's so nice and seamless. I really like it. I have the ColourPop Instant Crush Cream Blushes Natural Matte Finish, and this one is in the color Cherry Blossom. <gasps> Such a pretty pink. I love it. I love the matte powder blushes from ColourPop, so... I'm excited about these. Oh yeah, that looks gorgeous. It's a very natural pink. I feel like all the products that I'm using, they're just very creamy and just super buttery. I honestly really love everything so far, but I just grabbed another bronze stick from ColourPop. This one's a deeper color in Moonstone Beach, just to deepen up my forehead a little bit. And I want to try out this color. I think the color that I just used was nice. Like I said, for more maybe natural makeup days. But I want a little bit more. I think this color is going to be perfect. Yes, it's a little bit darker than the one that I used. and has a bit more warmth to it. So I think for summer it's a good shade. Wow, that bronzer is really, really nice. But I'm dying to set everything with a powder. Because my skin is screaming for some powder right now. So let's do that. I don't have a new powder, so I'm going to use the LA Girl Insta Finish Blurring Loose Powder. This is still one of my favorites, and it's talc-free, and it's like 10 bucks. You can get it at CVS. I like to use this on a powder puff, put a little bit of the excess on the back of my hand, and then set the under eyes first. I also kind of set around my cheek area. And I just really press the powder into the skin until it looks totally smooth and the powder pretty much becomes invisible. I'm gonna go right in between the brows and around the nose and mouth. Then I'm gonna use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder in the shade Light Medium. I honestly could probably use the shade Medium right now, but I don't feel like grabbing it, so. Light Medium it is, but this powder is so smooth for setting or just for touch-ups. I have this little Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer Palette. I love the butter bronzer. I usually use the color Deep, but if you've been wanting a deeper color, this palette right here has this dark butter bronzer. 
I can't get over the smell. I never will, to be honest. It's just so good. So it's a contour and a bronze color. The contour is up here. It's a little bit more cool tone. Then we have the lighter shade, which I think I want to use a little bit of that under my eyes. This bronzer color looks amazing. It looks a little bit darker than the deep shade. And yeah, the butter bronzer is incredible. So let's do some of this lighter powder. I'm just going to hit the under eyes with it. Oh my gosh, I cannot with this smell. It's just so good. Mm, that looks really pretty. Look, did you see how bright and like smoother that looks? Wow. Love. I feel like honestly, I don't even need more powder bronzer because the bronzer that I used from ColourPop underneath, you can still kind of see it peeking through, but I'm going to do just a little bit around my temples and I'm going to use some of this contour color because it's so pigmented. I just want to kind of stipple some of that in. Believe it or not, I'm going to add more blush because <laughs> I have this Luna Magic blush in the shade Aaliyah. And I picked this up on walmart.com and look at how gorgeous this is. They have a ton of other brighter shades. This looks really pigmented, so I'm just going to be pretty light-handed with it and just pop some on the cheeks to emphasize that blush. I'm gonna add some highlighter with my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I'm just gonna dust that over the blush. I'm gonna add some lower lash mascara going back with the Clean Topia from CoverGirl. I'm in love with the wand. I'm just gonna line my waterline with this Stay and Play Gel Pencil from Essence and this one is in the color Very Berry which is just a really pretty plum shade. I believe they have some new shades because I've never tried this color before. I love the nude one. That one is my fave. For lips, I'm going to use the Instapout Lip Liner from Hard Candy in the shade Boyfriend. And apparently the ultra matte liquid lipsticks from ColourPop have a new and improved formula. So I have the color here, Fifth Avenue, and I want to try it out and see how it compares to the old formula, which I actually used to really love. Ooh, I love this color. It's like perfect with the look today. It's a pinky nude. So I'm not going to do a gloss over top. I want to see how this wears and feels within the next couple hours and after I eat and everything. So I'm just going to leave it like this. It feels really nice so far. Not too matte, not too dry. Let me just set the makeup. I'm going to go back with that LA Girl setting spray. And this is kind of similar to the Milani Make It Last where it's going to give you a natural finish with your makeup. It's not going to be matte. It's not going to be dewy. So oh, it just feels so good too after all the makeup. I am so happy that this is another first impressions that was very successful. I honestly pretty much loved everything. The eyeshadow palette I think impressed me the most. This was so beautiful. I love this look. I think it's so easy and I love that I only used four eyeshadows to create it. So definitely want to try out more of these. I also love this mascara. This is really nice. I think the formula is great because it's not too wet and clumpy but it's also not too dry and it gave lots of volume and length especially on the lower lashes. The lashes just from Kiss are really pretty. I feel like Kiss always has great lashes. Sometimes they can be hit or miss, but all styles are gonna look differently on every eye shape. And I really enjoyed also the complexion. Out of everything, I think the Lottie London Bubble Tea Primer and the concealer from Flower Beauty impressed me the most. Both of these were so hydrating. The primer has just the most perfect consistency. It's not sticky, it's not too greasy. It just truly feels like a skincare product and it's so hydrating and smooth. The Flower Beauty concealer was so beautiful. Love the coverage of this and how hydrating it was on the skin. Super creamy and I can definitely see this being just a great everyday go-to concealer. The bronze stick from ColourPop and the cream blush, so beautiful. And I think these have really nice color payoff, but at the same time, they are still buildable if you want to add more. I like this Luna Magic blush so far. They have quite a few other shades, but this pink is so pretty. I feel like this would be flattering on a lot of different skin tones as well. And I don't know why it took me so long to try this butter bronzer contour palette, but I am in love with the colors in here. I especially really like this banana color for the under eyes. It was so smooth and bright and I feel like it just made the under eyes look very elevated. So I really like this and 
the lip combo. I have tried the lip liner before from Hard Candy. You can get it at Walmart and I think it complements this ultra matte lip really nicely. It definitely is matte, the ultra matte lip, but it doesn't feel as drying as the original formula, which I still enjoyed the original formula, but I will say this does feel a little bit more comfortable and it seems to be transfer proof. So we'll see because I'm going to eat and everything in just a minute. I'm going to wear this for the next couple hours and I'm going to see how it wears. So we have lots of good stuff in today's video. As always, I will keep you guys updated the more that I use these, but let me know if you have tried any of these or are there any products here that caught your attention but yeah that is everything for today thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you very soon in my next one bye